Hi, Colonel of Project Music here, uh, and today we are joined by one of the owners of Project Music, Lee St. Pierre. Hi. And we are going to fire a few questions at him <laughs> about Project Music, about his guitar journey, about his guitars, things like that. Just going to fire some questions at him and see what happens. So I guess first of all, tell us about the history of Project Music. How did it start? When did it start? All those sorts of things. Um, well, Project Music started in 2000. Um, when I moved down to Devon, um, but previously I'd been working uh, in music shops and in the industry for quite a while beforehand in the, in the London area. Um, so I had previously spent a great deal of time um, selling guitars, working around guitars and being in the industry generally. So it wasn't a new industry to me, but um, I, uh, I started Project in 2000, so it's been going. At, at the time of filming this, what we're looking at, well, very close, actually very close to 23 years. It's a long, old time. And what is it like owning a guitar shop? Is it, <laughs> is it a positive thing? Is it <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because I don't know the questions that are coming. What's it like uh, owning a guitar shop? It's great. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, you know, I'm working with guitars. Um, uh, great people in the industry. Um, a lot of our customers become... Um, very good friends of ours, uh, lots of regular customers popping in all the time. Um, obviously, like any industry, it's got its challenges and its downside, but you know, it's better than selling lots of other things I can think of. Um, what can be better than selling guitar? So I, I've got to answer that with it's great. It's, it's hard work, but it's, um, it's great fun. Yeah, enjoy it very much. And do you think there'd be anything else you would be doing if you weren't selling guitars? You think a... Ooh, um, I well, I like working with people, so I would want to do something that I was working within a team. But I really can't imagine what else I'd be doing. Um, I guess you've been doing it for a long time. Bearing in mind, Project Music's twenty three, and you were doing it before. That yeah, a long time. time before that. Yeah. Um, so I actually don't know if I, I. It probably doesn't qualify me for anything else. <laughs> it's probably I'm unqualified for anything other than uh, selling guitars. So uh, um, I actually can't imagine what. I, wouldn't mind being a farmer. I know nothing about it, but farmer. There you go. That's what I'm going. There you go. With. Yeah. I wasn't expecting. No, that to nor was I. But that's what I'm going with. That's <laughs> That's I think that's a fantastic answer. Um, and do you think? That, you know, have you sort of noticed in the last few years changes, challenges in the industry? Is uh, it's changed, that changed massively. Yeah. Um, every aspect of, uh, of of what we do has changed enormously. Um, mostly in probably the last ten or fifteen years, advent of the internet being such a powerful tool and a powerful part of uh, of, of the economy. Um, not just that, but. Um, changes in in legislation, uh, if you like the red tape side of it, uh, just difficulties that all businesses uh, in the UK experience, um, complications in just uh, employing people and running the, the the logistics side of it has changed massively. So it's, it's changed um, immeasurably, uh, and and some of it for the better. Um, uh, you know, I think the quality of um, the guitars we're selling. Um, and the the if you look at what you get for your money now, and you go back, um, you know that that's a change. Technology has, has meant that you can buy a, a lot nicer instrument without spending as much money. Um, but you know the, the the competition side of it, um, the um, the the online trading legislation, and running a website that's obviously all new to every business that's been going for a while. I say all new, it's been around for a while now, but you know, if it's a very long established business, everyone's had to to, uh, to get you. I mean, when I opened the shop in 2000, we didn't have a PC in the shop. I, I, it was only 23 years ago, but all the accounts were done by hand. Um, I barely had a calculator, I think. So, you know, obviously technology's changed, um, our market has changed, understanding um, of customers. Customers are, are very well educated now mm. because of the internet, yeah. uh, because of YouTube or because of just researching things on, on, a, on a website, looking at specifications, learning about what those specifications mean. Um, so there's a lot more education out there about what somebody is looking for. That's a big change. Not necessarily always a good change because it does, it does mean that um, uh, you, you know, you, you can end up looking for something that um, 
because you've read you need it or read you want it and you haven't actually tried it yet. So all these sorts of things have to be factored in with the way we trade now. It's very, very different. So I don't know if that answers your question. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> even in the time I've worked here, it's massively changed even since I started. Yeah. And it's, I think now we are you know, doing things like videos on YouTube yeah. and all the photos on the website and all those things. And it's you know, trying to sell people guitars who maybe live at the other end of the country yes. and they would ne they're never going to be able to get here to try them. It's tough. It's a tough like, thing to it, do. So it, I can only imagine yeah. the change from before then. From, when from it was way just, back, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, I, I think... I think it probably changes every year yeah. and, and it, the amount of change that's occurring seems to be speeding up. So every year there seems to be more change and whether it's you know the change that every other business in the country has adjusting to different regulations with um, trading with Europe now for example or um, yeah, a few years ago we had some massive changes in how, um, how, how certain woods were brought into the country with CITES and that, that was difficult that was to, tough, yeah. to get to grips with for all of us, uh, customers, trades, the whole industry. Um, so, so it is changing rapidly and changing uh, more so year by year. Um, but it's um, but, but of course you know that's part of the part of the challenge, part of the fun, in in um, in us being a small team of people is that, that we can you know we we can react to that and and it's it's quite enjoyable um, working around all those challenges. Absolutely. And plans for the future. What sort of things have you got <laughs> cooking and in your mind? Okay. So. Um, well, I think you know what 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 we're about. What we've learned what we're about. Um, you know, years ago uh, we sold um, a number of things. We did a lot of drum kits. We did a lot of keyboards and PA equipment. And um, we've we've learned that we, we're good at selling guitars. That's that's what we're into. That's what everybody that works here is passionate about. Um, I think that word could be used too regularly in this trade, but we are actually genuinely very passionate about guitars. We we, we think about them all the time, we, we we play them all the time, and we talk about them all the time. So I think that when you talk about plans for the future, it, it's it's actually more of the same, but, but, but more focused, ever more focused on guitars um, and, and focusing on um, making sure that our range and of, of guitars and service is moving in the direction we want it to be, which is more of them, wider range, and uh, providing an ever better um, level of service. Uh, so actually, there's not a lot of change there in what we're aiming to do. We're just aiming to do it um, better and uh, with more instruments to offer. Ideal. And speaking of instruments, what is your current favorite guitar that we have? In stock at the moment. In stock at the moment. Wow. Well, that's um, it, um, there's a lot to choose from. There's a lot to choose from. Um, I I saw early on today. Um, I picked up very briefly. There's a um, uh, a relic uh, seafoam green, I believe it is, um, custom shop strap, which one. is has just come in, and that is really lovely. I like that instrument. Um, and I'm surprised. Normally, I'd go for an acoustic with that question, yeah. but that's what I would that go for. Yeah, yeah. I know you always quite like your late passive blue seafoam greens. Yeah, stuff, I do. So. It just seems yeah. to seems to work. But that it's guitar just just works. Yeah. It's really really nice. So that would be my answer at the moment. And favorite personal guitar, past or present? Anything that you may have let go, or something you currently have in your possession? Okay, well that's really easy. Um, and it's it's actually there are two of them, but they are both the same make. So uh, my my my. By far and away, my favourite personal guitar is a uh, Brook Lamorna, which is a. Uh, I don't know if you if you guys haven't come across Brook, you need to look into them. It's a Devon-based um, guitar builder, and uh, they're very close to us, and we work with them quite closely. And I've got a Brook Lamorna, which is is beautiful, and that's my favourite. But the one that I regret letting go is actually a Dreadnought version <laughs> Brook, which um, is a Brook Teen. Yeah. And um, that, I should never have let that guitar go. So the, actually, I can answer both both guitars would be the same answer, which would be yeah. Brook guitars. Yeah, fair enough. Excellent. I think that's a very good choice. Because <laughs> they are pretty wonderful instruments. Um, well, thank you very much, Lee. Thank you for answering those sort of fairly quick fire questions. <laughs> okay. 
if anyone has any questions that they'd like to fire towards us or to Lee or just any of the other guys in, in the team, do pop them in the comments below uh, and we'll maybe do them in another video uh, down the line. But thank you very much for listening to that one and we'll see you in the future. Hmm.